everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and welcome back to My Storybook Special Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month Read Aloud event, where every weekday this month I am sharing a new interactive read aloud that features an Asian character or a book that was created by Asian or Pacific Islander authors and illustrators. Now, my friends, if you are curious about books we've already read or what we will be reading next, you can find the whole read aloud lineup on my blog, mystorybook.com, by clicking on that link down below. Or you can also subscribe to my Storybook YouTube channel and click on that Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage playlist to see all of our reading adventures. Otherwise, my friends, let's take a look at today's interactive read aloud. Today, we have a beautiful book set in Hawaii, one of the Pacific Islands, and this book is also about music. This book actually reminds me a little bit of Kaya's Heart Song, if you remember that book from a couple days ago. Kaya's Heart Song is about listening to your heart for that song inside your heart. This one is also about taking a moment to calm your body, calm your mind, and listen to nature, listen to what you hear, listen to that song that's in your soul and in your heart. This book is actually about a very famous song from a Hawaiian musician. The song is like a medley, a blend of the song Over the Rainbow and What a Wonderful World. And if you haven't heard it yet, my friends, I recommend that after this, you go ahead and listen to the song. It is a beautiful song. It's played on a ukulele and the singer has a gorgeous voice. It is such a pretty song. And you might know some of the two songs separate. Over the Rainbow is the one that goes somewhere over the rainbow. And then What a Wonderful World is what a wonderful world. So he combines those two songs into this beautiful song and it's a really good song. Now this story is about what inspired this song that he creates and you'll see some beautiful images of Hawaii, nature, and it's a great book about appreciation of music as well. All right, friends, if you're ready to get started, go ahead and give me a double thumbs up. Excellent. Let's begin. The title of today's interactive read aloud is The Good Song, a story inspired by Somewhere Over the Rainbow and What a Wonderful World. This book was written by Alexandria Giardino and it's illustrated by Penelope Dulligan. So that means that Alexandra Giardino, she's the author, so she wrote all the words, and the person who draws all the pictures is called the illustrator. And this book, my friends, was published by Cameron Kids. so big thank you to them for letting us share the story together today. Now, if I take a look at the cover, my friends, what do you notice? It is quite a beautiful cover. Right, I see rainbows in the sky. I see an island. An island is a piece of land that is surrounded on all sides by water. I see two people on this island. It looks like an older man and a younger little boy. They're waving. Let's see, the island has some trees, some pretty nature, lots of colors. All right. So remember, this book is about the song and how this Hawaiian musician came up with this beautiful song. What inspired him? While you're listening, my friends, maybe think about a song of your own and think about what could inspire you to write a song. All right, let's get started. So here's our title page. It has the title of our book, our author and illustrator, and our publisher, Cameron Kitt. Wow, look at this beautiful page of colors. On the day the baby boy was born, his grandpa held him and whispered, listen. <gasps> listen, my friends, right now, what do you hear right now? I can actually hear my mom cooking in the kitchen. Wind murmured like familiar chants, rain plinked like ukulele notes, and waves pounded like a drum beat. Sounds like instruments. They're listening to nature sounds like music. The world is singing you a lullaby, Grandpa said. What a good song. The baby closed his eyes and dreamed. Oh, so here's Grandpa. Here's little baby. And look at the beautiful nature. Maybe this is baby's dream. What is he dreaming about? <coughs> Looks like a happy dream. Well, the little boy grew and Grandpa took him to the ocean. They talked story and they listened. What a good song, Grandpa said. What's a good song? What is a good song, my friends? 
<laughs> Let's see what Grandpa has to say. Grandpa touched his heart, then the boys. It always goes from here to here, from heart to heart, a little like Kaya's heart song. Sometimes it's quiet, Grandpa said, so you must listen carefully. The little boy listened carefully, but all he heard was his stomach growling. So does the little boy hear that good heart song yet? Not yet. Remember, just like Kaya, took her a little bit of time to hear her heart song. But look at the island. They're talking about stories. They're seeing the ocean, my friends. Have you seen the ocean before? What do you think about it? If you haven't seen the ocean yet, it is quite beautiful. Time to eat, Grandpa said. Every night, the boys Ohana, his mama and daddy, uncles and aunties and cousins to eat together. Ohana means family, my friends. And look at all of the delicious foods they are. What do you notice on their table here? Right? Oh my goodness, lots of fruit, fishes. These look like kebabs when you put the fruit on their sticks. Maybe some kind of meat here. Delicious, my friends. So every night he eats dinner with his ohana. Who do you eat dinner with every night? Oh, and what do you usually eat? <coughs> Yum. So my friends, who is in your ohana? Who do you have in your ohana, in your family? Sounds like a lovely ohana. And every night after dinner, they play music together. Their songs fill the night along with the wind, the rain, and the waves. What a good song, Grandpa said. The little boy wanted to join in. His ukulele was old and worn, but that made him love it even more. Seems like his ukulele got a lot of good use, but he loves it, right? Because that means that he's got to use it a long time. Look at everyone down here. What's going on? Looks like everyone is dancing into the music and playing the music, enjoying it. They eat dinner, then they play music. What a nice way to spend family time together. He held his ukulele so tight, his mom tucked him into bed with it. Way up high, stars sparkled across the dark sky. The little boy closed his eyes and dreamed. Dreaming again. What do you think he's dreaming about this time? I still, I think it's a happy dream again though, because look, he's smiling. Everywhere the growing boy went, he carried his ukulele and he listened, just like grandpa taught him to. But instead of music, the boy heard beeping, honking, and roaring. The world was changing. What do you notice is different about this setting on this page, the background? How does this look different from before? Right? There's lots of buildings now and cars. And I notice you can't really see the beautiful rainbow in the background anymore. There's not as many trees and nature. Looks like the world is changing. Not as much nature, more building and construction and not as much nature, right? His family was changing too. One day, Grandpa's big heart broke. And just like that, he was gone. What happened to Grandpa? Sounds like maybe he had a heart attack, but poor Grandpa is gone. Look at this, looks like the flower necklace he used to wear. This page has some beautiful colors, but it's empty, right? Not as many trees and other objects makes me feel sad, right? That he died. And look at all these dark colors. How does little boy feel? The boy sat outside alone in the dark. He listened, but he didn't hear a thing. He's trying to hear that music, that good song Grandpa always heard. It's a little hard to hear good things when you're so sad, right? Oh, what do you notice about the colors on this page? Still darker colors, a little bit of light here at the end of this rainbow strand. And then he went down to the ocean. The warm water lulled him, it calmed him. He no longer felt the weight of the world. The boy closed his eyes and dreamed. What do you think he's dreaming about this time? Maybe about grandpa. Maybe not as happy a dream because he doesn't look as happy here. But then I see it's getting more colorful here, right? Like we notice, like maybe something happier or better is going to happen. Let's see. Oh my, what do you notice about this page in these colors? There's so many 
rainbow colors. It gives me a happier feeling, right? Listen, Grandpa seemed to whisper in the wind, the rain, and the waves. The boy listened carefully, and that's when he heard it. What do you think he heard? <coughs> the good song. Wow, so it looks like he was in nature and that he heard Grandpa's voice talking to him. Beneath a palm tree, a musician strummed a ukulele. He sang a song about dreams and wishes, blue skies and the colors of the rainbow. He sang a song, I love you. What a good song, the boy said. What's a good song, a little girl asked. The boy touched his heart, then the girls. It always goes from here to here. <gasps> Did he hear that from? Who told him that? Grandpa, right? So that reminds me of earlier in the book when the little boy asked Grandpa, what is a good song? So it looks like the little boy has grown up now. The boy's grown up and he is now playing this beautiful song that he heard from nature, from his grandpa, and is sharing this good song of love with the other people on the island. And... The good song rose up over the rainbow and out into the wonderful world. Listen. My friends, just take a moment and listen to nature. If you are inside, maybe go outdoors and take a moment to listen to what you hear. He See if you can hear that good song that floats over the rainbow, over the wonderful world. I'm going to take a moment. Oh, what a beautiful, good song. If I look over here, this beautiful sky floating over the rainbow, appreciating the wonderful world. The end, my friends. And here is just some more information about the song, Summer Over the Rainbow, What a Wonderful World, and the Hawaiian musician who created the song. If you want to pause and read more about it, you can. Here's a rainbow down here. Otherwise, my friends, that is the end of this story. Oh, actually, right over here, you'll see the lyrics. So here, lyrics are the words to the song. So here's the words of the song, if you want to take a look. And remember, it's a combination of two songs. So if you want to listen to the music, and then you can look at these lyrics. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. And then it keeps going. It's a beautiful song. You should listen to it. All right, my friends, well, that brings us to the end of this read aloud. What a beautiful story of music, of nature, of family, right? Grandpa and the little boy had such a special connection. We saw how the Ohana ate dinner together, played music together, and how they found the good song. The little boy found the good song by listening to the world around him and to the love in his heart, right? Well, my friends, what was one of your favorite parts of this story? Right. I loved all the beautiful pictures and illustrations, especially the really colorful ones with the rainbow. And I like how in the illustrations, the colors change, right? Darker colors when he was sad and those, and those bright rainbow colors when he found the music and the good song. And I love how he shared the good song with everyone in the end. All right, my friends, a great activity to do after this would be to go outside, listen to nature, and come up with your own song that you hear. Maybe write your own lyrics, get an instrument, maybe even just like play drums with your hands or make music with other tools. I would love to hear your songs. If you come up with your own good songs, my friends, I would love to hear them. Please reach out to me. You can find me on the blog, on email, here on YouTube, on Instagram. All the social media links can be found down below. Otherwise, my friends, if you enjoyed this interactive video aloud, please be sure to subscribe to my Storybook YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. I hope that I see you for our next reading adventure in this Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month special read aloud event. But until next time, I hope you go and find some good songs and happy reading.